Well, Sir Andrew Davis is, is many things as a conductor. Uh, he, he, has, he has a very wide repertoire, which is one of the reasons that he is a, a, a wonderful candidate to become the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra's chief conductor. Um, he's really wonderful at, at marshalling the massive forces for uh, works like uh, Mahler's Eighth Symphony or Schoenberg's Guralida. You know, he, he really built his reputation at the at the BBC proms on those epic first nights with many of the massive works of the repertoire. At the same time, on his last visit to the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra, he narrated and directed Walton's Facade, which is just for a handful of players. So really we have uh, an artist expert across a wide spectrum of repertoire. We're dealing with a man who has a huge international reputation. Several last night of the proms, probably conducted more BBC promenade concerts than any other conductor alive. The um, music director at Chicago Lyric Opera. And this is going to give a, a, a real weight and, and importance worldwide to what the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra is, is doing. And I think it's going to really increase the spotlight of the MSO, both inside its own community and to the greater public worldwide. I think it was vitally important for the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra that we didn't make a quick decision about who our new chief conductor was going to be. It was important that this was the right decision. As a result, we took our time. We had a, a couple of years without a chief conductor in place. And actually in 2009, Sir Andrew Davis made his um, first performance with the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra and was back every season since. So in a sense, the, the timing was right and it actually felt very organic that our relationship, which had started three years ago and had really seen a number of programs and we've been able to see Sir Andrew in a variety of different repertoire, that the decision became very obvious for us that um, this was the right man to lead the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra forward. And I think from 2013, 2014 onwards, we will see a much greater cohesion and unity to the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra season because there will be, from 2015 onwards, eight weeks with Sir Andrew Davis and three weeks with Diego Matias. And that creates a much more unified journey, if you like, to each individual season with far fewer um, individual conductors on the podium, but a much greater journey through repertoire, through our programming. Um, and, and I'm sure that that's a journey that's going to be very exciting for Melbourne's audiences to undertake with both of these conductors.